Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Terror Land. This is your girl Zingaya, the Zen Libran. And welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Narcissistic Abuse Tarot. What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing out there? Y'all doing good, I hope. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing well. I want to thank you guys for joining me and welcome you guys to Decoding the Spells. Thank you for joining me, guys, on Decoding the Spells. This is where I break down words. Um, the English language is very cryptic and occultic. Um, it's not enough to understand a word, but you need to understand and overstand a word. The powers that be hide things right in front of our face because we're just taking the underlying meaning and we're running with that. But that's not actually the word. That's not the, the definition that they are using. And they're laughing at us. You know what I'm saying? So you need to get the word, break the word down and understand every meaning of it, every aspect of it. Because this is how they get you in the legal system um, with all this paperwork, this brio that they use, this lingo that they use. You know what I'm saying? And you need to know how to break it down in order to navigate out here in this matrix. You know what I'm saying? Because they're hiding things right in front of our face, you know. And we're very um, magical ladies. You know, there's no amount no cap on what we can do, ladies. And we can definitely decode these spells that we're under, which is the English language. The English language is a spell in itself. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. And we need to decipher the spell that we're under so we can get some clarity of what's going on around us. And we need to do this by strengthening our third eye. That's why I do this word magic, okay? All right, let's break down some words, y'all. All right, the word that we're breaking down today is Thanos. Everybody knows Thanos, Guardians of the Galaxy and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows Thanos, the big villain. Wow, Thanos was the villain. He wanted all the stones, right? Was it seven? Hmm. Seven stones? Crown chakra? Third eye? Throat chakra? Heart chakra? Solar plexus, um, root chakra, heart chakra. Are those the seven stones that Thanos wanted? Huh? To be balanced? But he was the villain, right? I'm going to let y'all marinate on that. When you have your seven chakras and they're all aligned, you're a villain to these people. If you're balanced and aligned. Wow. I'll let y'all marinate on that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's break it down. Thanos. I root for Thanos and everyone. Okay. And after this, we break this down. I hope that you root for Thanos too. You know what I'm saying? Because I want my seven stones too. I want my red one, my root chakra. I want my orange one, my sacral chakra. I want my yellow one, my solar plexus. I want my green one, my heart chakra. I want my um, blue one, my throat chakra. I want my purple one, my uh, third eye. And I want the pretty turquoise color like one. That's the crown chakra. I want all of those stones. That's what you need in order to win. But Thanos, he was a villain for wanting the, those seven stones. I'm going to let y'all marinate on that, okay? Let's break down Thanos, the first part of his name, Than. I broke it down to Thin. I substituted the, the A for an E and got Then. Then I went a little further. And I put an A in front of Than. Okay? You can put your vowels anywhere you want to put them. I went even further and I've substituted that uh, A for an E. I substituted that, that uh, the E in the Athen from with an I. 
left the end, and I put an I on the end of it, which is Athene. Okay? Those are the words that I use when I did my word magic. Okay? Let's break down the first one, which is than. Than means second element of comparison, a contrast apart from. Like, you are smarter than me. So then is always the second element. It's always when you compare something with something. This is more than or something that contrasts or this is better than or something that's apart from um, this and then. You know what I'm saying? It's the second element of comparison, contrast or apart from. Okay? We agree on that. Okay? And, of course, I broke fan down and I got thin. Okay. Then is at that point in time. Then is like in those days. Then is a point in time. Like back then, that's a point in time. Like difference between then and now, that's a, that's a point in time. Back then, in those days. Then is a point in time. Okay. Then, of course, I made Athen with my word magic. Which, if you look up Athen, they let you know the etymology and where the word came from. And that is from Athenai, which is the capital of Greece, which is Athens, Greece. Okay. That's what Athen is. Okay. And then Athene. And it means a subgroup. People who have a common cultural background or descent. Ethnic. That's what Athene means, Miss Ethnic. Ethnic groups. People that have a common cultural background or descent. Okay. A subgroup. A subgroup is, is, they call it subgroup because you're not the big group. You're a group outside of the big group. You have your own group. Okay. All right. All right. So we got Than. We broke that down. Let's do the second part of Thanos, which is the O and the S. And I just substituted for you and made the word us. And we all know what us means. Do I have to go into that? Me and you. Okay, that's what us means. Okay? All right? It's a conclusion of me and you. It's us. Okay? All right. So, let's put this all up here. And let's get the meaning of what the word Thanos really means okay what the word Thanos really means people okay all right Thanos is someone that was apart from the majority okay they contrasted with the, the, the bigger group at, the, at a point in time. Okay? They contrasted with, they were, they were apart from or contrasted from, which means that they were different from, that they didn't blend. You know what I'm saying? They didn't blend at a point in time with the people from Greece, which was a subgroup of people with common cultural ethnic backgrounds. Okay? Okay? So the name Thanos means that Thanos, the people that are balanced with their seven chakras because Thanos wanted the seven stones. Okay? 
all right? Thanos were apart from the Greeks. Okay? Thanos' name represent a time when we, the majority of people, were in contrast or, or were set themselves apart from the Greeks. Okay? They were different than us. They were apart from us. They contrasted with us because we were, had our seven chakras aligned. We had the seven stones. Okay? So there was a point in time when the Greeks were different from us. And now we're operating as the Greeks. Thanos, when the, when we, Thanos represents when the seven chakras are aligned. We were a people that had our seven chakras aligned. And at that time, this ethnic group, these Greeks, they contrasted from us. They were different from us because they weren't aligned. Their chakras weren't aligned. They're animalistic. They're a subgroup of people who have the common cultural background or descent, but they were different from us. They were they contrast they contrasted from us. They were apart from us. Thanos represents a time when the Greeks were different from us. And that's when we had our seven chakras aligned. We strive to keep the seven chakras aligned. And that's done with meditation, diet, exercise, way of living, a peaceful, calm way of life, stress-free life. But now we're totally opposite. So we're just like the Greeks now. But Thanos' name represents a time when the Greeks were different from us, when they contrasted with us because our chakras were aligned. And they're not now. We were a body of people uh, we were the majority. They were just a subgroup. They were different than us. That's what Thanos names means. Than us. They were different than us. Thanos name represents a time when the Greeks were different than us. But now we're just like them now. Unaligned, animalistic. That's the majority of the way we live in now, y'all. So when I look at the Guardians of the Galaxy and all that good stuff, I'm down for Thanos. Because he's just trying to get his seven stones and get his chakras aligned. And people are coming up against him. Because they don't want him to get the seven stones. But Thanos represents a time when the Greeks were different from us. But now we're living just like the Greeks. These are the conquerors and we're living... Like they, like they live, we walk, they walk, talk, they talk, we worship their gods, we eat their food, we speak their language. We're of them instead of being different from them. But we are, the Divine Feminine, we represent, Thanos is a representation of us because our chakras are aligned. All right? All right, y'all. Well, this is what I have for decoding the spells, guys. If you feel anybody could benefit from these readings, from these breakdowns, please, 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 guys, share the consciousness, share the awareness. Y'all yeah, share enough um, booty bouncing videos and naked videos and weeds getting snatched out fighting in Walmart and Family Dollar. Share the consciousness, y'all. Share the consciousness. Sure, something that's going to scratch our mind and make, make the intellect start flowing, okay? All right, y'all. Don't be looking down at Thanos. You know what I'm saying? Stop being programmed and use your own mind. All right? Thanos is not the villain. All right, y'all? All right. I'll see y'all next time on Decoding the Spells. Y'all be easy out there. Bye-bye.